when you're sitting there with a friend enjoying dinner and the phone rings and that was the sheriff's office and I have no idea um, what the officer's name was or anything but they told us that my daughter was in a horrendous automobile accident they were taking her directly to the medical center he said just meet us at the Macon Medical Center her Injuries are so substantial that we're not even taking her to the medical center here in Warner Robins. We're going to take her all the way to um, Macon. He said that when, I, when he got to the car, I was responsive. My eyes were open, I was talking, and everything was fine, except for I was complaining of neck and back pain. And then they kept on cutting, and every time you make a cut, the car gets more compressed. I couldn't move my legs. My feet were underneath my pedals. My door was over my left hip and my center console was stuck on my right and my steering wheel had collapsed. So if I was under any more pressure, I definitely wasn't going to make it out. So Jimmy had a window of about 30 seconds to grab me out of my car and he took me by the arms and ripped me out. And I think that that requires a lot of courage because of how much physical trauma that could have happened. But he said I was dying and he didn't have a choice. And if it weren't for Jimmy's intercession there at the hospital because she wasn't bleeding from all over her body or anything. She was just so crushed here. Um, and Jimmy knew it. And it was through um, some of the, the doctors and nurses just said, you know, if you didn't have that type of a paramedic that was just so fix this, that th there's something really wrong here, I can tell it, I can feel it, that she probably wouldn't be here. He definitely has uh, um, other business interests and such that, that, uh, that allow him to not need to, to do this job. However, he does it because he truly cares for people, as is evidenced by what he did going above and beyond. That wonderful man called two to three times every day to see how my daughter was doing. And I can only thank our good Lord that he sent Jimmy there because I, I truly don't believe I would have had my daughter. I just want to thank you for being there that night and you know just all that you've done, not even just for my family, but there's hundreds of other people out there that you've saved. Jimmy, I can't think of anyone else that would deserve this award more than you. You not only did your job that night, you've done your job from that night till today. You've done that. You've been there for my family. You've just been all that you can be. You just, I cannot think of anyone better. It's hard to just say thank you because it's not enough. And I know how many other people you've helped, you've been there for, because I've heard all the stories now, because everyone knows we know each other. You're an amazing man. Thank you for doing what you do. Jimmy, congratulations on winning the GHA Heroes Award. Uh, we are very proud of what you do every day and keep up the good work. Hey Jimmy, thank you so much for saving my life and giving my parents a really good Christmas present. And you really deserve this award. Jimmy, congratulations on the honor. We appreciate the job that you do each and every day in the care, concern, compassion you demonstrate to people you encounter all the time. I know you are not comfortable with all the attention you've received in this, but a more deserving person could not have been named. Congratulations again from all of us at House and Healthcare. I want to thank GHA for this award. I also want to um, give a special thanks to my family, my wife Hazel, my daughter Brittany, also my mother and father and Wendell and Judy and brother and sister, Chris and Tammy, who have been behind me and had my back throughout the many years of service and through all the times that I came home stressed out, hard to get along with, and being behind me through all of this and having my back. I also want to thank my friends, my co-workers and peers that I work with every day that have my back, have each other's back throughout all the stressful situations that we go through. And in closing, I also want to thank GHA for this award.